What up, YouTube? It's Flash by Night. I couldn't let this opportunity pass by, right? It was inevitable, i.e. Thanos. So welcome, everybody, to my YT channel. YouTube, what up? My name is TJ, this is the Flash by Night channel, and I'd like to welcome you to my first video. Plain and simple, I want to share with you the comic books I picked up and read throughout the week. Um, it's as simple as that for right now, but who knows where we can go. But before we babble on too much, let me go ahead and share a few of my pickups and a few of my purchases. So my first set of purchases um, is from a gentleman known as Southern Comic Geek on YouTube and on Instagram. He did a claim sale, and I got a couple of things from him, and he also threw in a couple of books. So let's take a look. First book is Generation X number 51. Next up, Green Lantern Annual number 2. Um... I'm guessing it's from a story, a part of a story called Bloodlines. Um, some, I got, some I have to check out. Next up is the new Fantastic Four, 544. Of course, you see um, Black Panther and the Storm as part of the Fantastic Four. Next is a comic from Dark Horse. The Lone Gunman, um, I've never heard of this, but I'm pretty sure somebody has. If you've heard of it in the, in the comments, tell me what you thought of it. Next is a variant cover, probably the B cover from Deathstroke 43. And uh, Fantastic Four, 192, 35 cent cover. And then we have a, looks like a sketch variant for Invincible Iron Man number one. All right, and then the next two books are the books I really made the purchase for. And the first one is Amazing Spider-Man 265, uh, the first appearance of Silver Sable. And lastly, in this purchase, I have, uh, James Tinian's Batman number 90, which is the first appearance of the designer. So my next group of purchases is from uh, Joker M21. If you found my channel, if you know my channel and found this video, then you probably know who Joker M21 is. Um, and so I got a few Ultimate Spider-Man issues from him during a recent auction. So first I have issue number two, which I think is the first appearance of Yankee Lee. Then you have Ultimate Spider-Man issue number seven. Issue number nine. Issue number 16. And issue number 27. Um, so, quick story, I got these issues, and I have a couple of more Miles Ultimate issues, and I think I'm just going to make a run at trying to complete this run of Ultimate Spider-Man, and so we'll see. Also, I didn't get this from an auction, but a few months ago, I found uh, this Ultimate Spider-Man number one in a flea market for two dollars and it has someone's signature at the bottom i have no clue who it is it didn't come with the coa but it was in it was in a flea market and it cost two dollars so i brought it home with me so um i've got this last set of books from wink inc again another youtube comic book community member who i would venture that you would have heard of if you found your way to my video so uh, first up, 
And this is a really popular cartoon, but I've never watched it before. But it's a variant cover of Rick and Morty number 11. If you know anything about this, leave a comment in the comments and let me know. Um, second is Bloodshot number 15. And I, I failed to mention that the Bloodshot and the Rick and Morty and this one other book were all throw-ins from the purchase I made. I only purchased two books, but he threw in three extra because that's what this community does. Um, so my next purchase, or actually I guess the next book in this lot, is Border Town number one from Boom Studios. Um, I've never read Border Town. I've heard of it. Um, if you know about it, if you think it's worth a read, uh, let me know. Leave a comment down below. So the last two books are really, really close to my childhood. Uh, they are books that I wouldn't have thought about buying when I first started collecting comics, which hasn't been too long. But I got them both at a really, really good price. I would say the price of one make at least the price of the price I paid for one, I think makes the other one a steal, basically free in my mind. So first, we got Transformers number one from IDW, and it is double signed by Jeff Edwards and Steve Lydic, I believe. If that's not the correct pronunciation, let me know. Uh, but yeah, so I bought this one, and I thought it was worth the purchase price alone. But I got this last book, and this last book brought me up through my, well, at least the cartoon brought me up through my childhood. So uh, let me introduce you to Voltron, Defender of the Universe, number one. That's it. That little bit of nostalgia held me over for the day. Um, so that's all the books. I wanted to pop in real quick. I wanted to try and do my first video. Get the little jitters out of the way. I've told a few people that um, I'm worried or I was worried about my first video not being perfect because I'm like that. But I've heard that nobody's perfect the first time down. So Obviously, I'm not perfect, but I would like for you to bear with me. I'd like for you to stick around, and I'd like for you to grow with me and watch me grow. Many people who may see me are probably seasoned collectors. I probably learned a lot from them along the way, or can learn a lot from them along the way. But some of you may be like me and be very new collectors and very new to reading. If either one of those is your category, and you want to stick with me, and you want to watch me grow, go ahead, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and if you feel like it, leave a comment. You guys love each other, love yourself, and I'll be back in a flash.